In the kingdom of God, sexually based offenses are considered especially dangerous. In Talmadge, Ohio, the dedicated detectives who investigate sins against the body are members of an elite squad known as the Sexual Purity Unit. These are their stories. Greetings, citizens of the Kingdom of God. I'm Danielle Wiggins, reporting live for 7 News. We have breaking news at this midday right here at the Shepherd's Pasture for All Nations. Apparently, one of their members, Mary Catherine Bell, is claiming to be pregnant by the Holy Spirit. She's going to be giving a press conference in just a minute here. And Oh, wait a second. Yeah, they're starting? Okay. I hear they're starting. We have a camera inside now. We're going to be following this story from start to finish. So let's go to that camera inside. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Stacy Jones, and I'm here to represent Mary Bell as her publicist. Basically, I want to take this time to explain what has been going on these last couple of months. Miss um, Bell was sitting in her apartment one day thinking on the things of the Lord, when the Holy Spirit fell on her and she became pregnant with child. Uh, so right now we're just, you know, waiting to see what the Lord is going to do with this baby. Ms. Jones, uh, I have a question. I'm sorry, we're not answering any questions right now. Thank Ms. you. Jones, wait, 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 wait. Virgin, virgin. 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 That don't seem too cool. We don't have to investigate this. This is the right place. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a regular church to me. You know what? Let's interview her right here. Uh, excuse me, ma'am? Ma yes. Hey, how you doing? We're from the Sexual Purity Unit. Oh, okay. And we're trying to get some information about this Mary Bell character. Can you tell me a little bit about just who she is and... Yeah. Kind of person she is. Absolutely. Kind Mary of. Bell's a great woman. She's been going to this church for years. She's hmm. a really virtuous woman. She's always at sanctuary of prayer, praying before service starts. She's right. always there to give you a good word of advice. She's always at Bible study. Hmm. She's great. I love her. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Is that so? Yeah, absolutely. I would say that she's one of the most caring, compassionate women that we have at the church. Can you believe this? Absolutely. She's proven it. Do you know Mary Bell? Man, she's like one of the most righteous people I've ever known. Like, she's always like about evangelizing and bringing people to Christ, you know, worshiping and praising and things like that. You know, she speaks in tongues a lot. You know, I think that's actually might be her first language. She's always, you know, willing to serve and give her and give thanks to the God and then, wow, she's just so amazing. Now this is something not right about this. You know what, this. I really don't buy it. I don't, I don't buy it, because... Sitting in the garage don't make you a car. You know, and I know Jesus isn't coming back like that. Not through that. So, something is wrong. I mean, church girls, they usually were the worst ones. Exactly. Right. And this girl hey, uh, excuse me. Yeah. If you really want to know what's up, check out the tape. Miss Bell, could you please tell me how the pregnancy is going so far? It's going very well. I am, haven't been sick at all. All right, it's a beautiful, great. beautiful baby. Great, great. Now, please explain to me this. You've never actually been with another man before, correct? Correct. Okay. You never kissed a man. No. Wow. Mm -hmm. You've never even held a man's hand. Never. Well, this should be something celebrated, right? Amen. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Bell. When you say that you've never been with a man, what exactly do you mean by that? I've never been with a man. I've never enjoyed a, the company of a man at all. Do you mean that you've never had sexual relations with him? That's correct. And why exactly is that? Because I made a promise to the Lord that I would stay pure until I was married. I have a necklace that I, my mommy bought me and it just reminds me of my promise to the Lord. Why, that's commendable. That's great. You know, not, not enough people are doing that nowadays. But you know, before we continue, at this time I would like to introduce uh, Exhibit A to the court and to the jury. If we could take a second to watch this video right here, please. 
And you see here in this video, there's someone there, you know, walking around, looking. We can't tell who it is, but there we go. It's the defendant. There she runs and hurries into the car. Now, this video is about six months ago. And keep watching. Look towards your lower right hand now. And I wonder who that is there. I'm pretty sure that's not the Holy Spirit. And then this gentleman here, you see he gets in the car. And then... Unfortunately, we've had to block that out because it's just, it's just too much to be seen, Joris. The door opens, and our unknown gentleman comes sprinting out. You notice he's tucking in his shirt on the way in? You know what's going on in that car, don't you? Baylor, stop that man! So, what do you have to say about that? got me. I, I, I lied. I lied. I'm Danielle Wiggins reporting live for 7 News. It turns out that there's a scandalous twist in the Mary Bell trial. She breaks down on the stand after a video was revealed of her given into lust. She has been found guilty of sexual impurity by means of lust. And I guess what we can take from the story is that no matter how holy, righteous, or pure someone may think they are, they can give in to lust too if they're not guarded against it. I'm Danielle Wiggins, reporting live, 7 News.